4C hair is glamorous and don't ever let anyone tell you that it's not. Today I'm going to show you how I like to retain length using this oiling method and I'm also going to show you a really cute protective style that I love to do. Keep on watching. Yeah. Alright, so before we get to the stage, I'm going to show you how we mix the ingredients. You are going to need grapeseed oil, olive oil, a combination of sweet almond oil, apricot oil, argan oil, and your favorite essential oils, I prefer tea tree oil and peppermint oil, and then a nice good aloe plant. So the first thing I'm going to do here is pour some grapeseed oil, and you can see I just kind of eyeball it. The next thing, I'm going to pour some olive oil in there, and then I'm going to go ahead and add some essential oils, and then lastly, I'm going to add my mixture of apricot oil, argan oil, and sweet almond oil. And next, we're gonna go ahead with the good old aloe vera plant. I love aloe, you guys. I mean, I don't love this smell. It smells, to me, it smells like body odor mixed with chicken noodle soup. I, I mean, I don't know. That's just what I think it smells like, but hey. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna rinse it out anyways. Next, I'm just gonna mix it all up, and then I'm gonna give you guys a close-up look at all of it. All right, so here is the fun part. And just a heads up, my hair is already soaked and drenched in conditioner. I have 4C hair, but the conditioner is weighing it down. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at what my 4C hair looks like. Just so you guys know, I'm not one of those girls hair fishing. Is that a thing, hair fishing? You know where they're putting like that they're 4C, but they're really like 3C? Yeah, I'm not one of those girls. All right, so here we're just making sure that the oil is all over my hair and this is gonna to help to ensure that I don't get any breakage so that I can retain as much length as possible. If you want long 4C hair, retaining moisture in your hair is key. So you always have to use oils to lock it in. Next, I'm just gonna sit with a plastic bag over my head for about 10 minutes. All right, so here's a look at my hair after rinsing the product out, shampooing, and then deep conditioning and conditioning my hair. My hair has gotten a lot thicker since I cut off all of my heat damage. I'm very happy with that. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out my heat damage story. I posted the video about two days ago. So my hair was already blow dried and moisturized, and now we're just putting a mixture of avocado oil, aloe vera oil and coconut oil all over my hair because it really helps to keep my hair strong and healthy before I put it into a protective style. And as you can tell in this video, I'm not in my apartment on the East Coast. I was actually back home with my family. I came back before things got really crazy and before the lockdown was instilled. So I just wanna let you guys sit back and watch my mother do my hair. I love when she does my hair. She's the only person I trust with my hair. I really enjoyed my time when I was at home. And here is the finished look. I hope this helps to inspire somebody out there who thinks that 4C hair is terrible and that you can style it in cute ways. I'm also gonna show you guys how to do cute styles on your fro, so please keep watching if you wanna see more cute videos on how to retain length and how to style it in really cute ways. I just really want you guys to know that 4C hair is awesome because a lot of people made me feel like it wasn't. If you want to see more videos and you want to see cute little hair tutorials, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.